make it a knowledge exchange for innovation. Okay. Yeah, with the aims to a loop. But within this big group, mm. perhaps 300,000 uh, uh, technology based uh, is provided. So matching, mm. matching people who have common needs, matching people who may have the solutions, mm. and organize a group. Mm. You know, you don't need a big group, you need 20 people, 25 people, but you have many of them. Sadika, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yota Smut. Small and medium enterprises, so SMAs, are the lifeblood essential to Thailand's economic vitality. Defined as companies with no more than 200 employees and 2 million baht in assets, SMAs make up 99.6% of the enterprises in the country, creating jobs for more than 10.5 million people, or three-fourths of the national network first. According to the Office of the Small and Medium Enterprises Promotion, or OSMAP, complaints most often heard from SME's owners point to an inadequate support from the government, financiers, and insufficient indigenous know-how and innovation. Thailand today will hear from Associate Professor Dr. Sakarin Pumirat, Rector of King Mongkut's Institute of Technology, Thunburi or KMUTT, about an enterprising collaboration with the private sector to improve competitiveness of local SMEs. Please join me to welcome the Dr. Sakarin Pumirati, the president of the King Mongkut University of Technology, Thonburi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome to Thailand today, sir. Thank you very much. And the topic we're going to talk about is all about uh, what university going to do something with SMEs. Yes. Yes. It's very doubtful. So mm. you're going to be the one who <laughs> answer me that. So okay. what is uh, doing? I mean, university yeah. is the place where p you people get educated. So what mm -hmm. is it that come to you? Well, yes, of course, the, our, our top priority is producing uh, the best graduate we can. Mm -hmm. But the type of graduate we like to produce is to, to go out and build our society, mm -hmm. to strengthen our mm -hmm. uh, science, technology, and innovation. That's, mm -hmm. that's the... That's our university, mm -hmm. STI mm -hmm. uh, and Design University, with uh, great interest in education, of course, mm -hmm. as a, a university. But uh, the way we look at it is we, we, we feel that uh, we need to contribute to Thailand and the society mm -hmm. in strengthening mm -hmm. the fundamentals of mm -hmm. uh, science, technology, mm -hmm. and innovation. Mm -hmm. We note that uh, very, uh, very, uh, uh, um, uh, since since we are university, we are very much in the knowledge type business, mm. and uh, we see that uh, Thailand needs to strengthen mm -hmm. the science, technology, and innovation, mm -hmm. particularly in the SME sector. Yes, and we we noted that uh, the reason SME does not uh, uh, is not as strong as it should be is the fact that they do not. Uh, Mm. gain access mm. uh, the, of the needed knowledge mm. and the technology. Mm. So uh, what we have decided to do is we have dedicated this, this new building. Mm. We, we have uh, uh, built this new building in the center of town, mm. which is very close to Wong Wien Yai, mm. the, the great circle in Tomburi side. It's already it's built. built. It's, it's built. built. Okay. Uh, it's a 20 stories building, okay. uh, 20,000 square meters. Mm -hmm. uh, we call this building KX. Mm -hmm. KX stands for Knowledge Exchange. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is our business, of course, mm -hmm. we are as a university. Mm -hmm. So as Knowledge Exchange, we invite people mm -hmm. to come and exchange knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, the aim is to make it uh, Knowledge Exchange for innovation. Okay. Yeah, with the aims yeah. toward SMEs. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we, we bring in government sectors, we bring in our networks, mm -hmm. other university, overseas, mm -hmm. uh, local. <coughs> we bring in the big companies mm -hmm. uh, to create the ecosystem for learning, for mm. exchanging knowledge. Yes, mm. And once you do this, we feel this is a, a good, good way, way to, is for SMEs to, to gain knowledge mm. and technology. And with knowledge and technology, SME can 
improve productivity. Yeah. Uh, once they improve their productivity, they do better business. They become mm. better value chain player. Mm. So everybody gains uh, mm. once uh, once uh, SMEs become more productive mm. when they have uh, better productivity. Mm. Uh, part of the problems in Thailand is the fact that we have this uh, big gap uh, between the haves and the have-nots. Mm -hmm. Part of this big gap uh, uh, is because SMEs do not grow. Uh, in their productivity mm. uh, at a good enough rate. Mm. Therefore, the country uh, gains uh, in income, mm. but the SMEs, which is a large population, mm -hmm. does not grow as fast. Therefore, the gaps get, high, get, mm. get wider. Mm. So if we provide Why knowledge and technology to the SMEs, mm -hmm. making sure that they improve their productivity mm -hmm. at a uh, higher rate than the national average, mm. then the gaps become closer mm. and therefore the, the stronger community. So mm. th that's why we are so keen in, mm. in improving SME productivity. Mm. That's what it will come to what I'm going to ask you about. Uh, why, why need not any other uh, branch or anything other thing that to be, to be done more than SMEs? Well, SMEs, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, if you talk about business in Thailand, SME is more than 90, 90%, like, like you're talking about. 96%, 99%. So, so it's a, a, a big group. But within this big group, mm. perhaps 300,000 uh, uh, technology based uh, SMEs, mm. which is also, also a very big uh, mm. pop proportion. Yeah. So, mm. for Thailand to, mm. to, 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 to gain in the, uh, in the GDP, if we want to get out of the middle income trap, mm -hmm. we need to improve the productivity of these mm -hmm. companies. Mm -hmm. We need to make them grow at a faster rate so that mm -hmm. we reduce the gaps. Mm -hmm. We need to produce uh, uh, local uh, uh, effectiveness and efficiency mm -hmm. and technology mm -hmm. so, that, uh, so that we uh, rely, rely on ourselves, ourselves a little bit more than just producing mm -hmm. uh, as an OME or things like that. So, so SMEs are mm. very important. Mm -hmm. So, but to to work with SMEs, we need to connect with the larger companies. Okay. We need to connect with the governments. Yes. We need to connect with our friends, uh, uh, universities in, around mm. Thailand, in Thailand and overseas, to to provide knowledge and technology. We we decide this as an open open uh, platform. Okay. Knowledge. Knowledge is for sharing. Right. Knowledge is once you share knowledge, you gain. Everybody gains. Mm. You get no, you know, you mm. you know more. Mm. You understand more. But by by gaining more knowledge, uh, there can be a business on the side. Mm. You know, if I'm a small SME and I know that this technology can improve me, and a, a friend has this technology, mm. perhaps you can talk business. You mm. can you can uh, improve the 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 productivity of the SMEs through. Uh, gaining a service mm -hmm. of another SMEs, mm -hmm. or or the big the big companies mm -hmm. see the need to improve their SMEs uh, value chain, so that uh, SMEs can produce better products. Mm -hmm. If they get better products, mm -hmm. then uh, the big companies also gain. Mm -hmm. uh, our university would also gain because we will improve our students' capabilities, mm -hmm. improve our uh, faculty's knowledge. Mm -hmm. So every sort of gains win, win, in doing win, this win, 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 win and others. Mm -hmm. so, so we built this, mainly it's just... But you talk about building, Mr. Rector, uh, do you mean this a whole building is meant yes. to renovate, to help, to promote the SMEs? Well, uh, there are various activities in these buildings. Yeah. Uh, we, we have 20 floors. Oh, okay. okay. So a few floors we dedicate for oh. big companies to bring in their Products. The, the, no, the SME is value chain. Okay. The, see, if you are big companies, oh, yeah. you have uh, suppliers. Yes. You have uh, uh, people who take your products and add value oh. and, and sales. So there are SMEs around the big companies. Is it the kind of a meeting of the business? Yes. People yes. who wanted to buy things from SMEs, SME wanted to, to expand their own product. Right. It is a place. Yeah, this is the place, but mainly for knowledge. Uh, mainly for knowledge. Ma okay. Mainly for knowledge. Uh -huh. uh, so, so if you get SMEs together, uh, which, uh, and they, they would have common interests mm. in certain knowledge, mm. certain mm. issues. Mm. And uh, if we can identify that uh, there are a group of companies who want to improve uh, 
uh, utilization of their energy, for yes. example. Mm -hmm. We provide knowledge on how mm -hmm. to reduce energy consumption, mm -hmm. how to reduce right. uh, waste, mm -hmm. and they, once they have this knowledge, they apply it to to uh, to the things that they're doing. Yes. So what what we do is we actually once you identify this uh, needs, then we take technologies to go visit their companies oh. uh, to improve their their productivities okay. to improve. So it's not just the knowledge; it's okay. the application of technology. Mm -hmm. So the big companies work with the small companies. Mm -hmm. Those are a few flaws. There are a few flaws that we look at mm -hmm. designers. Mm -hmm. Right? We we have. Uh, 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 architects, mm -hmm. uh, industrial design, who works together to improve design thinking of the SMEs. Mm -hmm. So if SMEs have their products and they can improve the products through design, to engineering designs, to decide mm -hmm. to make it look better, mm -hmm. decide to make it more saleable, mm -hmm. then we have a few design design mm -hmm. activities mm -hmm. which would serve the SMEs. Uh -huh. And there are also SMEs who who use uh, who who are uh, uh, concentrated on on the, the design thinking design mm. the types of products, mm. and we have a few flaws which dedicate to f uh, to uh, build ecosystem for for startups. When we talk about startups, we talk about tech startup or deep 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 science deep tech startups. Mm. In our university, we have this what we call student entrepreneurship programs. Mm. We encourage students to to try it out their own the, business yeah their mm. own uh, thinking their own technology their own uh, ideas mm. Mm. and bring them to to a level where they can try it out their mm. business uh, the best way of testing that is to come to this building I see. Uh, once you come to this building you have all the SMEs with all the experience okay. they have failed before they have uh, uh, successful in some, some business been yeah almost hung yes yeah so they <laughs> they learn from the SMEs they learn from other technology they exchange knowledge so uh, a good way to build ecosystem for startups yeah. so uh, so a few flaws for 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 startup uh, this is not just for our our students but for anybody who comes to this building and once they discuss exchange knowledge and they decide ah they are good technology to to provide service for or to apply this technology to their products, mm. they, they may create new type of startups. Mm. Uh, we encourage that as well. And we have a few flaws that uh, dedicate for exchange. Yeah, right? Total is 20, 20, 20 floors. Floor. It's a 19 story building with huge. one, with one, uh, one, one, uh, one underfloor, underfloor. Under underground. Oh. Yes, so there are 20 all together. So, what you were saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so the whole building is sort of an ecosystem. Mm. Uh, and uh, it will encourage uh, uh, generation of uh, knowledge, true knowledge exchange. Mm. But at the same time, once you you have this open knowledge you know, uh, exchange, you mm. can create small groups mm. with certain interests. When you suppose you come to this building, you wanted to know uh, a new technology application, okay. uh, nanotechnology. Mm. How can that? Technology may apply to my my products, mm. but when you are here at this in, in this building, there are other group of people who are interested in other things. You will see them, you will exchange with them. Mm. So a different technology come to to together and build mm. another mm. applications. Mm. And, you know, that sort of thing would would create a lot of yeah. But but how do they are they selectively or they are just. Uh, uh, well, volunteer or okay. they just come in. How do well, you think uh, we we welcome we, we most welcome uh, uh, any SMEs to come test this. But uh, there are a few groups that we dedicate and and uh, and, uh, and pointed to mm -hmm. uh, on on technology wise. For example, food business. Okay. Uh, or uh, automotive uh, parts well, business. Uh, yeah. uh, the data, uh, data science, data, uh, uh, big data type of business. Mm. So there are four or five groups. Mm. But at the same time, we, we, we identify SMEs for which they, who who are uh, value chain of a bigger companies. Mm. So we have uh, we have our partners. 
uh, big companies are our partners. Mm. You know, people like S C G, P T T, Midpoint. That I want to ask you. Yeah. So, how many to total? How many of your uh, collaboration? Well, we we like to see right now we have six or seven big companies mm. who, who who is already on on board with on us, board. working with Ooh. us. We 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 hope we hope to have more. But with this, uh. Uh, we see 150 small companies that will come. The SMEs that will company, come with these big companies okay. to, 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 to work together to, to exchange knowledge. We also work with the Sosa Sao Wall. What's uh, that in English? Uh, uh, that's a uh, yeah. small, yeah, small, small and medium, medium enter enterprise. Uh, enterprise uh, they're also SMEs also. Yeah, they're, it's yeah, a bank. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a yeah. bank. No, 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 it's not SME bank. It's, mm. it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm sorry. A small and medium uh, small uh, enterprises. Medium enterprise uh, mm. promotion, promotion, promotion yes. office. Exactly. The 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 task is to improve uh, uh, SME productivity. Uh, so so they come to us and work uh, with us because SME has more needs than just knowledge and technology. Uh, yes. They have financial needs. They have management needs. That's uh, not our bag. Mm. Uh, 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 the South South Wall would already uh, identify mm. the SMEs who can do well in in financially mm -hmm. financially can manage themselves pretty well mm -hmm. but if adding innovation can improve their productivity mm -hmm. then they bring those group to us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for example they have uh, what they call strong regular group okay yeah they, they said yeah. they would have something like uh, 10,000 yeah. strong and regular out of this 3 million right okay. they have this uh, 10,000 strong regular so we say well let's try to a couple hundred okay okay ah. work with us ah. so so these are the group of people who will come to work with us once you have this sort of you know people uh, SME from from uh, big business mm -hmm. SME from from bank mm -hmm. so bank, banks also have the SME groups mm -hmm. SME is from South South War mm -hmm. then we have a communities okay. okay and then we have startups you know you have startups you have uh, maybe 50, 60 startups. So, so these are communities that, that come and exchange and work together. And, mm. and, and, mm. and so this is, what is your hope actually? What are you looking for for the future? Well, you're so much like, uh, it, it's, uh, to you, it's going to be successful, it's yeah, going to yeah. be yeah. Success will country. come when we produce, okay, new tech, new, uh, new startups. Uh, okay, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the most obvious one. Okay. Uh, successful new startups. Uh, maybe 20, 30 new startups yeah. a year, yeah. something like that. Success will come when our SMEs people see that what knowledge has exchanged, the technology that begins to transfer because of the knowledge exchange, mm. improve their productivity. Mm. And then they will come back again, right? Mm. They will come because they want to improve their productivity. Mm. So all in all, our hope is to improve SMEs mm. productivity. Uh, because once SME improve their productivity, then they want to, mm. to do more. Mm. And once they are successful, they are a good teacher or a good uh, provider to the, the other SMEs yeah. who may it not be directly in the same business, but, but, uh, but, but, but so, so, but so successful uh, will yeah. breed on success, we hope, yeah. yes. But again, because there are quite a number of uh, SMEs as, as a lower, uh, in investors like uh, lower in investment and all yeah. that. So do you look for them that uh, in future that they can do something out of it? Because many, that's quite a number yeah. also. There are a lot of SMEs as you, you see the numbers. So, so we see that if we can, if this model is successful, we work with our, our network, we work with our friends, uh, uh. our other university come and work with us. Yes. So if this is a successful model, mm. we hope that other university mm. will build similar mm. things, you know. Mm. The say that we build mm. one Raj Mongkon, mm. or the nine Raj Mongkon will build their own. Uh, other university build, because there's so, so many SMEs. Mm. It, it's the roles of uh, university like us to contribute towards the strengthening of of uh, mm -hmm. STI infrastructure mm -hmm. for Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's that is very important because, well, but last but not least, is mm. why now, sir? We've been having SMEs for a long time. Well, uh, well, now mm. is the time <laughs> where the country wants to get out of this middle income trap. Oh, okay. To, to, to get out of middle income trap, we have to improve production productivity. Mm. Uh, moreover, to get out of the income trap, we need to improve the SMEs at a faster rate mm. than the growth of the nation mm. because we don't want a wider gap. We want to cross the gap. Mm. Why, why going up? Mm. Uh, to get out of middle income trap, we have to improve our own capabilities and technology. Mm. So 
So we see that this is a very good time, a very good. Uh, perhaps we should have done this 10 years ago. That's right. But, but we didn't do it. We have to do it now. But 10 years ago, what we do is we, we send our students, we send our staff to work with, with uh, companies. Uh, we found that we end up work with bigger companies mm. rather than the, the small mm. SME companies. So, mm. so as a, 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 a higher education, as a STI university, we feel that we ought to to do more for the SMEs, mm. not just any any mm. industry. Yes. So we can can we say that uh, Thailand in the merge of uh, better advancement in production, in good production, in commodities and, and what not? Yeah, uh, we, I think we need mm. we need to we need to do better in adding value. Mm. to our commodities, mm. to our products. We have sufficient, we have enough, much more, right? Oh, yes. In every field, almost every field in Thailand. Well, have. we have a lot of sugars, yeah, we yes. have a lot of starch, uh, but we, uh, we need to, to, and we sell them. Uh, 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 that's fine, but, but it would be much more beneficial to the country if, if rather than just selling starch, we, we sell products from starch, for example. Mm. And I think big companies and, and the countries are moving towards that. Mm. Uh, our, what, what is important is to move the SME along mm. at a good pace mm. to contribute mm. towards this uh, value added to the country. Mm. Yes. So uh, KMUTT is uh, like a central for all? Well, we see this as a, a, a model, uh -huh. a model for, for uh, knowledge, uh, business like us, like knowledge, uh, STI University like mm. us, or higher education like us to contribute towards uh, 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 building, uh, 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 strengthening SME, strengthening productive capacity of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, to do so, we need this connectivity, we need this interaction. Mm -hmm. So KX is built to create this connectivity and interaction. Uh, it not only provides uh, ecosystem for new startups, new startups and, and mm -hmm. ecosystem for SMEs to learn. Mm -hmm. It's also provided an uh, uh, ecosystem for our students to, to become a better students, mm -hmm. for our professor to become a better professor, mm -hmm. for uh, companies to contribute towards uh, uh, education as well. It also provides a very good ecosystem to, to study uh, innovation. So this is like a big laboratory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Somewhat it's a like social lab type yeah. of things. Yes. So this yeah. is supposed to be laboratories built by whom? Governmental. Yes. Who, who are, are contribution from your well, we universities are, and those? Com the well, big we are part of the government. We are yes. part of the government. Uh, yeah. We are the state university. Okay. Yeah, so to say, we have friends who are state university. Uh, but this is. So, so we contribution uh, of the yes. of the collaborations yes. companies yes. to join up together, right? Mm. And the companies has has a responsibility to 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 help the country as well. So, uh, so we all how, work how together. How long you took time to this brainchild thing of this? Uh, oh, we we've been thinking about this. Uh, I must say, this is sort of a <coughs> evolution of how KMUTT has worked. Uh -huh. with the private sector, uh -huh. with the government. Mm -hmm. It's an evolution. But once we, we got this building, which yeah. uh, uh -huh. started about four or five years ago, uh, uh -huh. we yeah. start to think about what would be the best benefit for us to work with uh, others for the country. Uh -huh. And uh, KMUTT has always been known for, uh, uh, for loving collective impact. Mm -hmm. We like to work with others to, to build things, to, to, to do things and to make good impact for the society and the uh, country. So uh, in a way, it comes sort of naturally. Yes. We, we talk to our partners, we talk to our friends, and they all mm. say, this is a good idea, let's try it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, what, if we are successful, then we see this as a model for, for Very many places. interesting, so, yes. and uh, we unfortunately our time is up, but right. uh, you are most welcome, sir, to be here at any time that you have any expansion or anything improvement or uh, anything to talk about for the, our audience in 144 countries to have uh, listened to all kind of things. So Thank you very much. Please continue with your uh, excellent work. Thank you very much. Yeah. Being here, Thank sir. You Thank, much. You Thank, Thank you very much. much.
You are watching Thailand Today. I'm Kusuma Yotasmu talking to our guest, Professor Dr. Sakarin Pumirat. He is from the King Mungkut Institute of Technology, Thonburi or KMUTT. He brought us some very important news and very good news that the university is working with the private sector on an enterprising collaboration to improve competitiveness of local SMEs. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusumayo Tajmut. Hope to see you again. Same place, same time. Sodika.